down. Is everybody? What happened? Cheers. Cheers. All of a sudden. Cheers. 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 Live. Monday Happy nights. New Year. Happy, Happy New, New Year. Year. It's a new <laughs> year. It's a it whole new, new year. year. Mm -hmm. And it's only been a week since we were last year. It's a whole new year. Whole new year. Wow. Amazing yeah. looking at. It feels like week. it. Cheers, everyone. <laughs> Welcome to 2022. <laughs> Welcome to 2022 and our, our first wow. Monday night live event of the year. Exciting. How many Mondays are there this year? Are there 52? I would, 52? Assume I would say there are 51? 52. I mean, we're getting there started off here on a Monday. There's 52 it, weeks. Does that mean there's 52 Mondays or does it matter where it... it I don't know. That's, it might not be question. exactly 52. <laughs> I'm going to guess... Approximately 52. I'm going to guess if there's 52 weeks, there must be 52 Mondays. Probably. We're getting way off track. Anyway, uh, let me get... <laughs> the beginning of <laughs> let, me, let me welcome everybody. Um, we have a, a few people on with us. Thanks for joining right. us. And um, I just if you're new to us and you haven't uh, subscribed to our show, subscribe YouTube in her wine. See right there. Look at that. Right in her wine. No, right at the that's bottom wine. below her wine. wine. Oh, that's Ken's wine. wine. Sorry. It's all backwards. He's all frazzled. It's, it's a new year. He hasn't adjusted yet. Yeah. It's, yeah. It's, you know. So, uh, yeah. Anyway, somewhere... Somewhere. Below Somewhere. Ken's Wine is a subscribe button for YouTube, and there's a little bell for Facebook. If you subscribe to YouTube and Facebook, anytime we go live, you'll get a little notification saying we're live, and if you want to tune in, you can. Um, we, uh, we often go live from right here in our loft in the tasting room, but uh, in, in, the, in the winery, but very often we'll go live from other surprise locations, uh, who knows where next. And uh, if you are joining us today, please say hello by letting us know, say, make, mentioning in the comments that you're here so that we know you're, you're here and we can, uh, uh, we can see you. And if you like the broadcast and you think you have friends who would enjoy hearing about what we have to talk about, please share this on your page so that others can learn about what we're doing and what we're talking about. So, so what are, are we talking about today? Uh, sort of a, a follow-up to last week in a way. Right, yeah. I mean, a whole year now. A whole year has gone by from last since last year. So, yeah, 2022, year in review. Yeah. 2021 <laughs> is gone. Done. 
Now yeah. we're starting off at 22. Yeah. So looking forward. We decided to look forward. So there's exciting things on the horizon, as there always is, and we thought we'd talk a little bit about those. I know we touch, touched on some of them last week, but uh, we'll dig in a little deeper this week and uh, talk about the future. And to, to uh, enjoy that, Stephanie uh, crafted up this fine collection of cheeses and meats. Mm, so we'll have some good. food to pair with our wines as we're, as we're sitting here. And uh, we're drinking some different things. Uh, Marika and I are drinking the, the Red Scare. We're going to be celebrating needs today. Ken has a couple of new things he's going to share with you. Uh, very shortly, and uh, so we thought we'd start with a mead because Ken has a couple new meads. I do. Yeah, I have so. two new meads. I feel like about. we're not allowed to talk about them until later on when my glass is empty. If we can. right, I think that's a good idea. Right. Yeah, let mine okay. be empty too. Right. Yeah, so right. we'll, so we'll get into to, that later on. That's fine. We'll Sounds build good. the. Sounds the, good. The uh, we'll build up the tension. Build the anticipation. Yes. Right? Anticipation. anticipation of the two new right. meads. Right. So, so joining us already tonight, we have Christine, Matt, and Lynn. Janice is here again. Chuck Excellent. has joined us, um, right. and Joanne Peterson has joined us. Nice to see you, Joanne. Excellent. Welcome to the show. Uh, and Matt already asks, are we going to learn about your brewery plans? <laughs> brewery plans? What's he talking about? I don't know. It must be some rumors. I've heard some rumors, some rumors around. There, are, there are rumors, There's but rumors, yeah. very little I don't know what you're talking about, Matt. I have no reports. idea. No idea what you're talking about. Oh, uh, and Priscilla, of course, has joined us as well. <laughs> Happy New Year, everyone. Glad to see you here. Yeah, and, and actually, while we're on that subject of everyone here, um, I would like to know, oh, I already know what Matt wants to talk about. I would like to know <laughs> what everybody out there uh, would like to see. What are some of the things you'd like to see happen at Hermit Woods other than this coming year? Right. Matt's yeah. idea that brewery right. plans would be a good thing, but you guys get to craft your own wine. Yeah, experience if you have some what ideas like? about what you'd like us, like us to do, events you think we should hold, and then also if you have ideas about where you'd like this show to go. So mm -hmm. who who might we interview? Who where, you know, we go live. We're going to go. Actually, I just you learned. do have one nailed down got for later two. this month. Right? We've got two. We're going live at Defiant <laughs> Records, and I cannot wait for that. That's. This new business opened up I in still Laconia. Been there. I'm so looking forward me to too, going there. Me too. Me yeah. too. It's so a new fun. business in Laconia. It's a record shop with with uh, old records, uh, used records that you can purchase, and and they uh, turned it into a craft beer uh, bar with food. So you could go and browse the records, enjoy some craft beer from local New Hampshire breweries or New England. I think they they get New England. beer yeah. from all yeah. over New England. Not just New Hampshire, but at least. New England. How's anyway. the selection there? Do you like really it? good? And I went a few weeks in a row and it yep. was a completely different list every time. Oh, That's wow. Fantastic. So oh, we're excellent. going to be going live and the two co-founders are going to be there with us and uh, we're going to try some of their beer, look at some of the records, maybe listen to some great music. I know they do live shows there. So maybe we'll wow. spin a few albums. I bet you you'll have fun yeah. with that. They oh, got yeah, a, they got a player right there so excellent. we can spin some albums. Yep. That'll be awesome. So, uh, so that's coming up on the 24th. And I just learned today that the folks over at Sap House Meadery are excited about having us to Excellent. Sap House. Excellent. So we're going to go spend some time with that's them. such a great party. Ash and Matt, two really great guys. If you don't know Sap House Meadery, you, you should make it a point to go visit them. They're only about, what, 25 minutes from here? Yeah. And, uh, yep. and really, really worth, worth the visit. They're, oh, yeah. they're doing some really creative stuff. So that's a couple live shows that we have. We are also, uh, I've, I put an inquiry out and talked to tentatively with Beans and Greens. It's okay. another farm that we're starting to get some food from over in Guilford. And uh, they had a, tentatively said they'd like to be part of our show. So I, I reached out to see if we'd schedule a Monday with them. Excellent. If there are some other uh, places that you think are relevant to this conversation that we're having here at Hermit Woods, and you want to see us go live there, tell us who it is. Oh, and I think, I haven't, Matt hasn't confirmed this yet, but Matt was going to be our guest host oh. for a show. He's, he's what, at his it. house? No, he's going to come up here. Oh, and he's going to do haggis. And that's what he said. Oh, now, I, oh yeah. I, I'm I putting you on the spot, Matt. About Sorry. This, yes. it, well, yeah, he about said he wanted to stay over uh, at Chuck's house. Escargot and, and right. haggis. Yes. And, uh, and um, I know Matt has a thousand things he'd like to talk about. So he's done so many great. So maybe Matt will come up here someday and he'll be he'll be our host. Wouldn't that be fun? That would be That'd that be would great. be a lot of fun. That would be, be great. Yeah. So we'll see. Sure. Uh, we already have a few suggestions. Yep. Um, Priscilla recommends a cruise with wine. Ooh. So I mean, you have you've broadcast from Dolgo sailing, sailing before, but certainly that again. Um, what about the Mount Washington? That would be pretty cool. Well, because that's that's related. So Lynn suggests mm, showcasing summer. other stores in Meredith. 
So interviewing other people oh, around or that's yeah, something a great idea. idea. Or yeah, I think a broadcast from Mount Washington would be a pretty cool thing. We could go across yeah. the street from Rise. We could definitely talk to Rise. I bet Alyssa would love yeah, that. Yeah. Um, yeah. Other nice places around. Um, and then I think this is a not a topic for the virtual show, but Matt recommends a cask sponsorship. I know he's been yes, after that. Been cask so. sponsorship. That's a great idea, Matt. We really <laughs> ought to explore that. <laughs> not not to tease you, Matt, but we have eight barrels of the 2020 Red Scare downstairs, and I just blended up eight barrels of the 2021 Red Scare. So, you know, this, this is not that hard. I bet you we could come up with something must have that a way would work. Of somehow I just, I don't know what it what it right. means i don't know quite how to i don't know either how do we build a cask sponsorship maybe we should talk to uh, you oh, know who knows seven birches the seven birches no they yeah, do vine seven sponsorships. sponsorships they might do cask as well no i think he does he does have a barrel yeah, definitely yeah. have a mm -hmm. barrel program i remember him talking to us early on before he got his club going now we will do that, that. One of them. we will it's not like i don't know if you were here for last week yes you were and you saw that there were a lot of things going on in our our adventure here and we're about to talk about even more so a million of them so uh, don't don't beat us up too bad if we yeah, don't get to it in a hurry i feel it, like it, it takes... it'll it'll have to be a red scare cast for for matt um yeah, yeah. oh that's, i think that's 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 yeah his favorite Eight barrels of red scare I'll be, that's what I do every year now. Matt, Matt, we got a program coming. I, I promise you, we will, we will make it happen. We got eight barrels. We can figure something eight out. Barrels of, oh no, I only have two barrels of the twenty Hermitage, <laughs> but I'm going to have six barrels so, of twenty one. So, do you Hermitage. think what Matt's saying is that he wants to sponsor a barrel, and buy that barrel? I don't know. His that's the way it works. Just about twenty five cases, two hundred eighty to three hundred bottles. I think it could work different ways. It might just be you sponsor to have your name put on that barrel. Yeah. And that's and you sort get of, the first bottle out of it yeah. or something. Yeah, there would be perks oh. like that, I think. Oh, this is yeah. So for Matt's show, he plans some haggis and mead pairings, escargot with wines. Oh man. And, and he can't knows wait. the pairings. He's I know Matt at home has experimented. We have a Monday on reserve for you in yes. twenty twenty two, Matt. For sure. So you you just let us know what Monday works for you and, and we will reserve the spot. Ooh. That'd be great. That'd be so much fun. Joanne suggests, um, maybe kind of paired with the Defiant idea, um, music trivia night. Well, that'd Even be a just, lot of fun. Just trivia in general. We All could right. do a trivia uh, Danny, show. That's a good one for Danny. Joanne, yeah. on, the, on, the, on the 24th, we're going to have some trivia questions. We'll, 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 go, we'll trivia. get there early and we'll go Bob through Shop? the albums. No, no for Before Defiant. Defiant Records. Oh, before Defiant. We'll go through the albums. We'll do deep tracks. Before we get there. And we'll get some good That'll questions for the yeah. uh, for I that think, event. yeah, maybe we should have, a, I don't know, a trivia question every week. That would be a fun opener. Something related to whatever we're doing that week. That's some a good idea. Trivia. No, no, right. You know, at the end of every show, we should have a, a trivia question that if somebody gets the answer, they can, they can win something. Yeah. It should. That would That's be fun, right? This is why crowdsourcing. Thank you, yeah, loyal followers. That would be great. So at the end of every, so if you, if you stay tuned to the end, We'll, we'll throw out a trivia question out there, give people a few minutes to answer. And by joining us live and getting that answer right, you uh, you win some. We'll, we'll figure out you a nice get a barrel prize. red scare. Yeah. No, red that scare. might be a little much. That's a little much for one question, yeah. Mm -hmm. Wait, we got 85 people just logged <laughs> on. I mean, that's pretty cool. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and my, um, my good friend uh, Deb has joined us today. She suggests, yes, how about wine trivia? Yeah, wine trivia is a great idea. Oh, that's good stuff, yeah. yeah. I think yeah, I think that'd be good uh, trivia night. I, li I like the trivia. Yeah. So we just we just talk about and then we can elaborate. We'll make some trivia questions that are things that we like to talk about or, mm -hmm. or that we can elaborate on. So we'll get some. We'll throw the questions out there, and then when the answers right. come in, it'll give us a chance to talk about. So you know, corks versus screw caps. Uh, you know, w we could like uh, what country in the world is, is known only for its great Chenin Blanc. Yeah, or what country in the world is known for only putting their wines under screw caps? That's a nice trivia question, right? Australia. Oh, don't give the answer. We're going to reserve that one out. But that's wrong. Is <laughs> No. You're insisting on giving the answer. I'm curious now. Now go. I have to look. Go. I'm going to have to look go. that up now. Go. Mm -hmm. see. Okay. So that's great. And keep going. If you have other ideas for the right. show, yeah. other ideas for things you want to see happen at Hermit Woods, but let's talk about some of these yes. you know that are going and if, to happen. Yeah, if, if you keep yeah. firing off suggestions, if I don't, you know, if we don't get a chance to talk about them on camera now, I'll go through later and keep a list and I'll add that to our brainstorming documents and we'll make sure we take those suggestions. Into this account. year, for sure, I know we will be bottling strawberry rhubarb, crab apple, rosé, <laughs> petite blue, petite blue reserve, rose red skin, 
<laughs> Those are all coming up. <laughs> Never fear. Yes. Thank you. And I know for a fact that some of those bottlings are going to be up there with your best. Because I have vintages, tried a yeah. couple of vintages that you're coming forward with. I'm I do like some of the new excited, vintages. Yes. Really excited about the Lake House White. <laughs> Excuse me. Yes. Yes, that's really That's going to be an exciting vintage this year. Um, so uh, something else I know that's happening shortly is uh, movie night. Yeah. Who would have ever thunk? But we have a 12-foot screen right here in the loft. We have a top-tier professional sound system. I thought you were going to say top-tier professional popcorn machine, but we have that too. We have that too. Awesome. We have popcorn a popcorn machine. Popcorn machine. Yes. Matt loves that. I can't we even believe it. it. We have a popcorn machine. So, and yes, yes, top-tier sound system, giant display. We should, we movie nights. Yes. Yeah. I can't even wait. It's I so exciting. And so we did, we did a test run, which is a good thing we did because we had some – Little mm -hmm. bugs to Some work technical out. Technical issues, right? The sound. We, we're still uh, working on the sound. Yeah, still working on sounds. Like Ken and Ken and Maya and Gerald and I uh, ordered a pizza and we sat up here and watched a movie on the big screen. We yeah. Tested the sound, tested that we could get get everything to work, and it did. And uh, and we'll tweak that sound. We'll get it right. And and what a nice experience! You sit and have some food and a glass of wine or a beer. And Bottle Shock's and, a great movie. And so yes, the it's first really movie is Bottle Shock. And yeah. you guys have probably heard us talk about this. You've heard of uh, the the Judgment of Paris, right? So the Judgment of Paris was that seminal moment when the world took Napa seriously for the very first time. Napa 19, wines, 1976. 76, yep. Napa wines went up against, uh, in a blind tasting, went up against French wines with French, French judges. judges. <laughs> and, and really, for the most part, won the day. That's not that the French wines didn't do very well as, as well, but, mm -hmm. but really in some very key areas, the, the American wines from Napa really won the day at that event. And this movie is a sort of docudrama. Yes, it's, it's of got that. some spin in there. Yeah, it's course, definitely got some course. spin. But it's a, it's it's a, a great it's story, a great movie. and it's a lot of fun, and that's going to be our first, our first uh, our showing here on the 18th. January 18th, it's I believe um, we've posted the event to Facebook you, um, and elsewhere as well. Um, there's an Eventbrite link on the Facebook okay. page. Um, we'll be sending out an email blast shortly, so if you're on our email list, well, it will, I believe a link will be included in that. And we, Danny did a great job. Danny and Stephanie put together an event calendar. Yes. On our Facebook page. Excellent. I mean, on our web page. Yep. Oh, good. So if you go to the event uh, tab on our web page, all of, there's an event calendar. It's the first, first item on the event tab. Right. Click on that, and it'll bring you a calendar for the year. And we're going to start filling that out. Excellent. With all of these exciting things. And the, one, the 18th is already up there for uh, movie night. But there's yeah. going to be one. Uh, two a month, right? February yep. 1st is it's, the next yeah, one. Yeah, it's a, about a couple of weeks. Yeah. Um, right. Movies will um, probably 5.30 is the start time. We close the winery at 5, so you, you know you can come in a little early. We'll be keeping the deli open until about 5.45, 6 o'clock or so. So you'll come in, you'll want to order food if you want any food right off, but then we'll keep the bar open after that, you know, until the movie's over. So you can come up and so grab a glass of wine in the come middle. at movie night at Hermit Woods and order a really nice flatbread or wrap a craft local beer or a glass of, of red scare, red scare yeah. and sit up here in this space and watch a movie yep. mm -hmm. yeah get a second round bags of popcorn we'll have and, and, bags of and popcorn. another beer um, I mean, and another actually fun wow. factor of this so um your ticket kind of includes the price of popcorn but we're gonna have um a donation bucket out next to the popcorn so we're gonna be donating anything that you want to give as a donation to the Popcorn is going to go to a local charity, and that'll oh, rotate right. through. It'll be different right. different charities in the area. Um, often ones you know related to Excellent movies idea. or performing arts will probably be where we'll focus, but that's another sort of side part of this that we're looking forward to. Yeah, uh, I know she's looking into the Meredith Food Bank. Yep. No, yeah. What better place for popcorn <laughs> food bank? Yeah. And yeah. the Lakes Region uh, Musical Theater, the, the Summer Theater is another place that yep. she's looking so, that's a great It'll way probably to probably be a different a different charity each each movie night. So that'll be fun. So you can reserve tickets ahead of time. I'm we've got a lot of space up here, so I doubt that you know you'll need to. You can get tickets at the door, but um it'll be cheaper if you reserve them ahead of time. It's six dollars in advance, eight dollars if you come in and get them just at the door on your way in. So that's one thing. And then shortly after that, on January twenty second, I think it is. Yes. 
We have, a, we have our, we've done this many times before, as some of you have probably attended. It's a lot of fun. It's our wine and cheese pairing event. Oh, great. So we're going to do, uh, we have some, some vent, cheese vendors who are going to come and share some of their new varieties of cheeses, some, some of which we may carry downstairs and some new ones that we might not, that maybe we will in the future. The and, vendors uh, themselves will be yes, yes, representatives for that. We have a couple that, okay, we have good. that absolute confirmation yet, but Travis is pretty excited that there's a couple that will be here. And you'll get a chance to come in for your, t for your one ticket price and sample wines with uh, 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 pairings of the appropriate cheese that we also have available here for so sale. So we'll have rosé amongst the tables? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We're certainly going to have rosé with the Blue Hill. The Blue Hill blue cheese and the rosé will definitely yes, be yes, one of the pairings. It would be cool if we could get Blue Hill here. Hey, are we going to be doing the chocolatiers showing up during Absolutely. Valentine's so, in February? That's I love that event. event. And now... We, we can do that. We are absolutely. So February, uh, what's the date? Um, For which? 13th. Or 13th. And the Valentine's, event. February 13th, yes. 13th. So okay. it's a Sunday. Uh oh. I think it's a Sunday. It's a Sunday. Yes. And, uh, and it's great. It's, uh, it's always, that's another fun event. We couldn't do it, either of these events last year because of 20, uh, 2020. The, uh, we didn't do the one in February? The Valentine's? No, no. Last, last year we were still coming off. Of last the year, I think it was right. We were closed, or we had just no, reopened, I believe. Twenty twenty one. We were. Closed. Oh, this is twenty one. We were talking about. We That's were right. closed last year was during. Sorry, no. Of we, we no, because we lost again we did, for just a few weeks. Is 20, we did it in February. 20. Yeah. Yes. But in we did 20, not do it in twenty twenty one. We had been we still weren't, you know, we still weren't doing big events, and we had just been closed for a few weeks. We were yeah. open on Valentine's Day, but I think okay. that was right after we had been closed for a few weeks. We, were still we weren't doing, doing big events. We weren't doing tastings. It yeah. wasn't okay to gather people yeah. in space. That's right. It was not. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, we closed. But we did have them. We did do the both of those events in 2020 because it, it was happened before, before the, the pandemic. pandemic. Yeah. So that was the last time. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And they were great events. We had a lot of fun on both yeah. those events. So we're bringing it back. And um, and hopefully we'll we'll have a you know we as I see we're having a a turn of of the the, the numbers for COVID so hopefully by February we'll we'll be in a better place and people will be more comfortable. Um, we have the the always a fun event. And I sure hope we can pull this together, but it's always been fun. Barbecue brats. Oh on the deck yeah, that's for, right. February oh, during the hockey. So, the pond pond hockey. so both for pond hockey. At, Weekend as well as the ice fishing derby. Yeah, uh, they're the a few fishing. weeks apart. Yep, and they're one week to, apart. We're just a week apart. Yeah, and you know what else we need to do, Marika? Oh. You got to get on this. We got to get some breweries. <laughs> I was say, oh yeah, for sure. Well, I mean, we normally have representatives. Yeah, we've definitely had them before, Every and I know. I mean, beer. we always carry Concord Craft makes a pond hockey pilsner specifically yes. for this event. Yes. We would love to have so, them here. Yeah, yeah, we'll have to reach out to them and see if. Yeah. They can bring someone yeah. up here and do it's a little, come up do a little tasting. Like that. Yes. So we, it'd be great if we could have two. List. And the best, the best event we had, we have two beer tastings. So we have right. two different purveyors. Yeah, of, I think we got Twin Barns and Concord Craft last yeah. time we did it. Twin, Twin Barns, Barns and Concord Craft. Craft. Maybe yep. if they're not available, Kettlehead might be able to do it. Right. We'd great. love to have. Actually, we could have three. Or, about, or how about yeah. Dam Brewery? Could come down. Yeah. Anyone. Yeah, we'll, we'll reach out. I'll, I'll put that on my list. So so we'll get a few, we could have a couple more. We had well, we could we have, have a lot of space. How can we have we six breweries here? Yeah, so we'll, we'll be doing that. <laughs> keep on. keep an eye out for <laughs> yeah, Pond Hockey Weekend. Yeah, yeah, Bob's do six. Come on, look at all the space. <laughs> Bob will <laughs> be cooking up brats out on the deck. And you can get a nice on the deck and six different beers to sample. Oh, it's so much fun. It is a lot of fun. Those are my favorite events. We couldn't do it last year, so I'm excited to do that. Yeah, that'll be great. So that's upcoming. What else we got? We got um, a yeah, the so you talked about the two different loft tastings. Mm -hmm. um, aren't you doing? You're doing other loft tastings as well in the works. I know you and Travis are working on this. You know, so you're gonna, every Saturday we do a, you know, the loft tasting experience where you go into the details of the history of Hermit Woods a little more in depth than our regular tastings downstairs. But you're going to start alternating with that regular loft tasting as well as some wine and cheese tastings, right? And Travis is working on putting together some small bite tastings as well. So just yeah, even more in depth about what's going on in the on future. What's happening Thank you there. for that long intro because I had stuffed my face with some cheese yeah, and I was not I about Bob. to respond. <laughs> but um, yes, so if you haven't had a chance to come up and experience the loft tasting experience, which is a lot of fun, I really enjoyed doing it. It's really, it's, it's, it's the history of Hermit Woods combined with a wine tasting. Mm -hmm. And that so, is complimentary for club members. 
It's complimentary for yeah. club members, and and uh, it's it's not that it's only a, a couple dollars more for that event mm -hmm. over our regular tasting. But if you join us for that event, you get ten percent off wine purchase for that day. Right. So it's just nineteen ninety five, and you get a an hour long history presentation. We take you all the way back to the very beginning, how Hermit Woods came to be, and uh, we have about one hundred and thirty slides that we share with you during that, and a video. So I hope you can make that. We're going to continue to do that, but um, starting sometime in the next 30 days or so, we're going to switch it to every other Saturday is a history presentation. And then the opposite Saturday will be a wine and cheese pairing event. Ah, so you'll come up fun. here. We'll, get, we'll have uh, six or seven select cheeses and, uh, paired with six or seven of our wines. And we'll, uh, we'll, we'll really dig in on, uh, on how, to, how to really appreciate Wine and cheese pairing. Yeah, <laughs> which you know we're always finding good combinations. Yes, this, this mm -hmm. is these events are it's um, educational for us as well. Yes, because we're finding those proper pairings. And and uh, and we've also talked about. I don't know when when this will happen, but um, Travis is has been charged with the concept of developing some small bites. Okay. So this is a, I did a tasting like this. It was probably my favorite. Mm, one of the best things that we did on our trip to the Finger Lakes last fall was one of the wineries we went to. We did a tour and we got a little glass while we did our tour. And then we came back and did a tasting like what we have planned, that we got a little tray of like six different small bites, yep. you know, some charcuterie type things, but also slightly heartier things. With sure. And they had recommended a wine with each one. With each one. And they, they told us, you know, this is what we recommend. But then after they kind of gave that introduction, they sort of set us free to experiment on our oh, own yeah, well, and yep. try different pairings and then they check back in later about what worked and what didn't and it's really fun that's great and I mean, so I mean, need, travis is already working with, with that and, yeah he's already coming up with some excellent what that ideas like. yeah shape that for him because that's mm -hmm. exciting i want i want to do these things soon yeah, yeah. um the uh uh it i've been doing that history one every saturday it'll be nice to break it up yeah do some different things other options mm -hmm. right so, uh, and then beyond that, uh, coming into the summer, there'll be other events this winter. I know every, all of us are working on some other great ideas. Danny's working on a comedy night. Mm-hmm. Ah, great. A comedy Excellent. night. Can you believe it? You come up here and watch a comedy show. And there'll be popcorn, probably. Oh, yeah. We're going to use <laughs> that machine. We've got it here. We'll... Yeah, absolutely. So, mm -hmm. uh, comedy night. And um, we didn't talk about the other movies that we're going to We're going to do. Uh, let's list some of the movies. We're going to so do. So, in, in February, sort of playing into the Valentine's Day theme, uh, we're going to show shock a lot Ooh, and we're going to oh, show no reservations. Much. So a couple of sort of rom-coms, food rom -coms. related. Very good. Yeah. Um, there was another food some. one. Oh, um, a, yeah. Wine documentary, oh. some and um, big night. Big night. That's, uh, Have you Stanley seen that? No. It's, it oh, sounds no. wonderful. Big night. It's a, is an Academy award winning movie from the uh, some early eighties, late seventies, yeah. early eighties. And it's, it's all about food and wine. And it's, it's about these two brothers that open an Italian restaurant in, in, uh, in New York, I think, it, or New Jersey, maybe. I'm not sure. Maybe. And, uh, oh, I may have seen this. The big night. They yeah. all come yes, together. Yes, yes, it's, yes, it's yes, that, yes. There's a wine, there's some critic, food wine, critic right. coming. Yep. And the restaurant so their, the restaurant is go, struggling. And yeah. if they're going to go under unless they do really well giving a presentation night. to this one night, yeah. um, it sounds fabulous. Yeah. So we're doing that. And then a couple of, uh, Local favorites. We're doing going to show what about Bob, and we're going to show on Golden Pond. What about so, Bob? What about Bob? What about, what about Bob? Him? What about him? That took place on Lake Punapisaki, right? Yes. Well, not officially. I don't know if they name the lake in the movie, but it's yeah, it's it's one Misaki. And then on Golden Pond, of course, was filmed up on Squam Lake. So oh, we'll yeah. have both of those coming. Um, a really good lineup. I'm Great. I'm really That's looking so forward to these nights. I think they're going to be a lot of fun. So. So that's good. I'm glad we went through the movies. There's other movies. That, there's a list actually of the, the next five on our website. On our website? Under the event page, there's a movie night listing. And I listed all the movies that we're doing, not all through the, the season, but I think we put the first five up there. Yeah. So you can see. So yeah, and, Tuesday uh, nights, 530. Yeah. Can't wait. And then this summer, we are doing the garden again. Absolutely. Bigger and better than ever before. Bigger, Bigger and better. better, yeah. Especially, yeah, we, you know, we had last year to, it was a new space. We we didn't know that new. we had it until right. February and came up with the concept and was able to get the permits and throw things together and make it work. And it was a fabulous summer, but now we have that whole summer and fall under our belt. It was actually we'll, kind of rainy this summer. It too. was. Oh my so, Every Sunday with live music and 
Oh, yep. Here comes the rain. Yeah. You know, <laughs> we had a so remarkable amount of people. Those umbrellas again, are actually but quite sturdy. Not. So we had people out there, even on those rainy days. And I know, we thank those great. wonderful customers that were willing <laughs> to hang out out there and had a great time. So we're looking forward to another summer out there. So I'm sure we'll, we'll probably get Joe back with his barbecue truck. Hopefully we'll be able to bring Aaron back a little bit with her pours and pedals. And absolutely. we'll, I'm sure we'll reach out to other food trucks if we need to fill in and right. get that open all the time. And it's I, amazing how I, quickly these things, you know, we're talking about them as, Oh, it's not until the summer, but it's, that's oh, gonna happen real fast. it's yeah, gonna we're, train is on the tracks. Yeah, so I mean, we're I'm, already talking I'm about sitting permitting here thinking and things. about the spring relief going Oh. I'm trying to put my Christmas list together for next year. <laughs> good, good luck with that. <laughs> so uh, that reminds me, we we put solar panels on the roof this mm -hmm. year, and I, I think I shared with you. But I went back this when they put. Oh yeah, the, I liked your spreadsheet a when lot. When they put the panels up, they they uh, they projected how much sun we would get for mm -hmm. the year and how much we would produce, and it was pretty amazingly accurate. Right. But you know where the the Achilles heel was? July. It was July. We it was like we got one third the amount of sun in July than they predicted, oh. like a third. Wow! Yeah, it, it was, was it was a rain, cloudy, rainy, almost rainy. every day. Mm. <laughs> it messed up a, a lot of the orchards too. There yeah, was bad crops and yeah. I mean, our cranberry supplier didn't couldn't supply us. Is that because of the wet? I think so. They had twenty five percent lower crop Ooh. yield. Wow! Yeah. The Some other farms had all sorts of issues with apples. And for that. The garden was so much fun. Yeah. Yeah. That's a real highlight. Yeah. So that'll, and, be, that'll be fun. And wine slushies. And wine slushies. <laughs> we'll be back. Mm -hmm. We could still bring the wine slushie machine over. You could try. <laughs> still on a day he's bottling downstairs. He's busy. When he's not looking. No, sneak it in. You could try. <laughs> All right, we have it. You guys have any ideas? Anybody well, out there? Ideas for uh, for events? We got some lots. Let's see. Yes, let's from... see. Um, oh, let me back up a bit. We've got a lot of people joining us this week, which is excellent. I love to see some new faces and, and oh, our good. others. Um, excellent. Starting who, off a who, new year. Who's some new right. faces we got here? Um, Anne Saulnier is here, and Karen Vecchito, and um, Trish. Have joined us. These are uh, yeah. If you Great. possibly you are regulars, but joining after the fact. But I'm Great. glad to have some new yep. people here. Um, Excellent. So they've all joined. Um, Lynn says yeah. They had a um, motel for offering that small bite tasting. Lynn also would love a cookbook from Hermit Woods. I think that that is a project we, we should definitely yeah. do that. work on. That it's a big project, but I think that would be really fun. Um, I think we could also do like cooking shows for Facebook Live. Well, anybody I, oh, interested oh, in a wine on a winemaking wait, book? I got a, I got one for Monday night. I'm, I've already put it on the calendar. I am going to make mussels with Lake House Wine. Oh yeah, that, oh, right I had that. here. Can verify it's an excellent recipe. Um, Jeff suggest or no, was it Matt? So of course suggests a Bob Across America slideshow. <laughs> um, definitely want the garden oh, to get. Boy, it. That would be a good. One. Um, Matt would like a bike rack for the garden to display your lovely triple bike. Provided by and Matt. And for other people who ride in. Yep, that's true. We Maybe I do a little. Bike rack. Uh, we need a bike rack. Yeah. Over there. yeah the, the problem the space. Are we do, but we got to. You know what, Matt, you'll be excited to know. I just formed a. Com I'm, well, I can't say prematurely, but I'm forming a committee. Um, we're in hopes of the Greater Meredith program partnering with the Wow Trail in Laconia. Oh. And we're working hard right now. To bring the Wow Trail all the way to Meredith, all the way to Meredith. That would be lovely. That would be fantastic. It is. That it is. We've, we've so met with, the, with, the, with uh, many members of the of the community, and we're we're talking about it. It's going to take time. Oh, of course, course. It's, these uh, are always it's, tough. It's, yeah, a few years. Yeah, a few years for sure. But and part of getting the, the Wow Trail, the, the railroad tracks are less than a half a mile from here. Yeah. So you'll be able to ride from Laconia all the way to the Weirs and all the way to Meredith someday if all goes well. And then we need to make the roads into town more accessible. Yeah. Because right now our roads are not bike friendly. No. Yeah. As as probably Matt, you may remember riding around on the and roads. And we knew when we took off on our scared. triple, we were worried about right. it. Yeah. going out on twenty five. There's yep. no margin yeah. at all. So we gotta get that fixed, but we're working on it. We're gonna we're yeah. gonna make that happen. Uh, Joanne's looking forward to bringing slushies back. Um, Karen was here over the summer and remembers the yeah, F 50 degrees and heat on in the camper for 4th of July yeah, weekend. Yeah, right. Um, and Matt says, okay, for the bike rack, he has cut the steel for it already and he has mapped rides. 
he's got you. He's but, he's your bike console for oh, yeah. everything. Well, we so hope. I mean, we would we had tried to plan, but this year we got to do it, Matt. You got to yeah, bring you gotta, your double, mm -hmm. right? And you and Lynn need to come up, and we need to pick. I mean, wow, we got to do the wild you imagine, If you were just driving through the Lakes region and you passed this group on the side of the road, one of which was riding a double bike, and you thought, "Oh wow, those things I've never seen them." Rarely seen those out. And then you go a little further up the road and you pass a triple bike. And just like, I feel like I would pull over at that point. We're going to need a quad. And stop and, be, we'll, we'll need and a ask quad these people, for... who are they and what are they doing? Maybe we'll be on TikTok. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you, yeah, yeah. You, you better talk to our uh, younger staff. I'm not as cool as our younger staff. They're all into yeah, TikTok and watching TikTok videos and they can they need share us. things. Yeah, yeah. I'm not, no, not cool enough to get help. in on this. Let's do it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> all right so wow. we've got some plans we're gonna yes. we gotta we gotta take a, a record of all of these ideas because mm -hmm. there's some great ideas there's a lot yeah, yeah right. everyone's really excited for 2022 yeah me too i'm getting tired already though <laughs> Oh, yeah it's true yeah it, it well, keeps it up is, on you know, us so like fast when we, when we did our retrospective last week and we look back at all the things that we've done it it's, it's tiring to think about achieving all that and getting through mm -hmm. all that and so we lay these things up and we'll do our best to get we'll do as much as we can. I always feel like in these See. winter months, I'm always excited about, yeah, it gets so quiet. We have all these times, do all these projects. You know, it's a time where we've got to be really busy. And it ends up being really busy. <laughs> yeah. Especially because, well, we, we cut back staff so much. So, you know, I, I, even though it's so quiet here during the day, there's only two of us here most of the time now. Yeah. So you don't have as much time Maybe during the day at the same time. Back to help plan yeah. all this. Get it. Back. <laughs> well, it is great. One of the great things about sort of the way we've rearranged schedule is Danny, especially she has a lot more time Good. focused on event planning mm -hmm. versus mm -hmm. having to be on the floor, you know, right. doing tastings and things like that. So she's been working really hard on her time Goodness doing that. Time. And, and yeah. you know, yeah. Travis has management time that he can focus on, updating the kitchen and getting things work together. Actually, that's a good transition into another the kitchen. Exciting. Bit yeah. About, let's show some pictures. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Right now you can't even go so, into the So yeah, kitchen. if anybody has stopped into the there winery no today, right now. No kitchen. Um, you, you can see something slightly different. Yeah. Show, show the world. So look at that. This look at is that. what it looks oh my like God. now. That was so, taken, oh dear. I was taken this morning. Come, I don't know. There we go. You go into the corner. Yeah. And so you know, you walk in and it looks about the same, I suppose. But well, when, you, when you go back into the corner, in the corner, there's you can use your mouse too. They can see some more mouse. going on back here. So we have ripped up the floor back there, um, and our floor contractor was here for most of the day today and got all this laid down for us. So we'll have a nice tile floor back there, and the kitchen is. Our prepper is about doubling in size, doubling I would say. In size. So we've lost a little bit of retail space over in this corner. We're if you'll remember, table. this is where we had all of that, you know, the jams and the mustards and things like that. So that whole um, but we're gonna double shelf that is going to move. We'll still have all of those products, yep. of mm -hmm. course, but they're going to be in a more prominent location over in this area here where there was a table before. So we've lost a table, but... We've, but we've, a lot of tables we've, up we've here. got plenty of space up here as well. So, up here. Um, That's what enabled this. Really. And then yeah. we'll have lots more space for the kitchen to able, be able to cater to this new loft space. So we're really looking forward to that. So they'll be working here all week long. We've got a pared down deli menu. We still do have food available this week. Okay, great. Um, I'll go back to our... Good, yeah. You know, no, you know how, why one. we got Let's started go with that? This, yeah. The you eatery in the first place. There we go. Do you recall, Bob, in the in the state back in 2014, 2015, when we were thinking about this, we wanted to be able to sell a glass of wine. People would come in and they they would have a taste, and they're like, "I would like to buy a glass of this," and we couldn't sell them a glass of wine. And the state rules are that you have to be able to sell food through at least three different items, and you had to have 20 seats dedicated year round. Oh. So in the winter time, of course, we lose our deck and we didn't have any other seating outside. So we had to fit 20 seats mm -hmm. in that main room downstairs mm -hmm. to be able to sell wine by the glass. That was the whole wow. purpose. I know that. It, was, that whole thing. it was more complex than three items. We had to sell we had to sell a salad. Oh, we had to right. sell a soup. Yep. <laughs> we had to sell a, a sandwich. There were the categories. Yeah. We had to yeah. hit one of each category in order to 
Very interesting. I remember the challenge of trying yeah. to find dedicated 20 seats for the, for the winner. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So there will still be one table downstairs, which is good because that's unfortunately the only handicap accessible space uh -huh. that we have. But we do good. still have one table downstairs, so you can come into the winery and have that table. And then otherwise, all the seating will be up here. But we There's have, so, seats we have so much space up here, yeah. so that'll be great. And it'll allow the kitchen to expand and be able to cater to these so we had to do it because, like Ken said, in the winter, two years ago in the winter, we had 20 seats. In, this, in the summer, we had the deck and the inside. So we had basically 40 seats. We had about 20 yeah. seats on the deck and 20 seats inside. When, we get, patio, we, when we get our patio, when we get our patio done this spring, we're going to have 130 seats. Wow. Mm -hmm. So we, between up here and out on the front, we're going to have a new patio. We talked a little bit about that. That's hopefully happening in April. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, boy. Um, and one uh, more thing, one more thing, <laughs> and and uh, we haven't really talked about this, but we have a plan, and I don't know when we'll get it done, but we we're going to roof roof over the porch, so right. we can be outside during the rain. Yeah, we got to do that. Yeah. A little, yeah, yeah, a little more of kind of a three. Not and then and then yeah, we can three season three, three, three season because three then we can put maybe? heaters in it. And yeah, we'll have roof like yeah. heating, right. and uh, that'll that'll give that twenty seats. That'll be really nice. Yeah. Well so very much looking forward to a updated kitchen back there. So that's a big I know, that, I, know, I know that our chefs and cooks are, are really eager to have a little more space. Ken just noticed that I'm our glasses eat, I'm, are empty. I'm a little eager He's to... going to give us a little rinse. That's good. Yeah. So we yes. can this is move a good time into it. Yeah, it is actually. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. We've got some people there. Everyone's really excited about this kitchen update. It's a little It'll bit a of a great tease, addition. You know? Wonderful update to the space. Joanne loves the upstairs already. And Gary expects that we will definitely fill all these seats as soon as we make them, which is true. <laughs> So what are we doing, Ken? New wines. Yeah, these 2022. are. Uh, these were made so, yeah, uh, last new year, updates. and um, they should be out depending on how they keep progressing. Mm -hmm. These are really young; they're still cloudy. They're still becoming what they're going to become. These out of out of a barrel. These are out of a uh, stainless steel tank. Okay. The batches are not large enough to actually fill a barrel. Okay. So they're in a stainless steel tank, very uh, you know, experimental uh, in format. They're both meads. This first one is a mead crafted with wild forged rose hips. So wow. this is straight. Oh, we've never hips. done anything like I've this. never done this before. And uh, it's really got a fascinating, is it, uh, wonderful is air Is it going to be dry? I think so. It, it, I like it the way it's it is. dry now. Yep. There's a there's quite a bit of acidity and tanginess to it. So we'll see once oh. once it evolves and the fruit it is it the is fruit of the rule is isn't it wild? It's really that is interesting. It, it's almost like a kiwi yeah. tangy. It's got a sour. tangy nose. It's got I, a tangy I, nose. It's really yeah. interesting. So it's really I really it's like really that aroma though. It's totally you know. Unlike any, I know this the, the straight rose hip that I make to go as a blend into oh, Lake House wow. White. I've been making that every year and barrel aging it and then blending it with the peach rhubarb and the mm -hmm. quince to make Lake House White. And this last year was a fantastic year for rose hips. And we went two times with big crews and we picked a lot of rose hips, more than we've ever had. So I had extra rose hips. I'm like, all right, I'm going to make a mead. And this, this may be almost, my new favorite mead. Isn't that cool? There's almost oh that um, kind of, I guess it's the acidity, that sort of tomato-y. There's a tomato bit. component. I, I do think of like rose hips as being kind of tomato-y. They tomato are tomatoes. They're are beach they, tomatoes. They're, they're, a, they're a very tomato-like. Yeah. They're apple family. Yeah, but they're a very tomato-like. Yeah, the veg, very vegetable-like tomato. Mm -hmm. yeah. It is, yeah. It's got that kind of you get the savory. Apple you get, that's what's fascinating. When you told me that it was in the apple family, I didn't yeah. know that. But when you bite into a rose hip, you get both the tomato, the vegetable character, and then in the finish, you get the apple. You get a hint of it, where where it comes from, the apple. But this yeah, is amazing. Kind of, mm, that is interesting. Yeah, Lynn asked so how, we'll how it compares um, to the um, tomato you know, wines. It's a question of how long. Well, I just made a couple more tomato wines downstairs. Good. I, yeah, I've been seeing you crafting. And these those. are these are. This it. is completely different because this it doesn't is. have a really strong tomato aroma. No, I, I get. It's sort of wines, related. The in tomato way, wines, you know, it's tomatoes. It's kind of funky. If you it's decide, kind of if you think about it, I feel like most people, if they took a sip of it, they wouldn't immediately think tomato. But once you say tomato, then, then you oh, like oh yeah, yeah, it is right. kind of. 
Yeah, no, I yeah, like this. Cheers. This is you. You. This. You're killing it. Looking forward to the finish on this. Yeah. <laughs> oh boy. Always. This is I really like. Stay exciting. tuned, everybody. So, hitting the shelves. In what? I mean, I, a few I, months. I, I, maybe? And this will be out. Um, like I said, I'm not Sorry. quite sure. Yeah. As it evolves and matures, but mm. I hope by the by the fall, because I'm sure I need the tank space. <laughs> And so it should be finished up by then, hopefully. But if not, it'll just hang out a little bit longer, and then it'll get bottled. Yeah. And that'll be it. But I, I had thoughts of maybe blending and doing different things, but I, I really like it the way it is. So I'm probably going to leave it the way it is. I may take five gallons of it and play around with that. But um, that'll be it. I'm excited. That's, that's Matt fun. wonders if it will be one to lay down. I don't know, Matt. Um, I think most of our meats have laid down very well. Based on the flavor profile, that it will age well at least five years. I, I built this like a red wine, like I always do. So it's a full fruit, full rose hip ferment. So with all of the stuff that gets packed into it, it generally lives off. really well for many, hmm? many years. Your phone might have died. You lost the camera. Down. Well, we'll see. We'll still, we can still broadcast from here, but it looks like yeah, we'll, broadcast from we'll just broadcast from here. I'll, I'll scoot forward a little bit. I think Bob's phone may have died, so we lost our front camera. Push this back a little bit. Yeah. We'll just do it that just, way. Oh, there we go. Somehow, All set. Huh? The phone battery went dead. Yep. We lost that. new phone. I was using it all day. You were on and on it. Mm -hmm. um, probably a, a corked, corks, not screw cap. This will go in a little skinny yeah, bottle cork. with a yeah. cork. Yep, yeah. corks. We have changed our corks. Um, so all last year and going forward, we now have a cork called a Norma cork, which is made out of the leftovers from a sugar cane. It's almost, it feels a little rubberier, right? Yeah, Do we it, have any it out has there now? the same oxygen transfer characteristics as a regular cork, but there's no way for it to produce any TCA and taint cork the wine. That is nice. So it has the same effect. It's just, it's a cork. It's but it doesn't have all. It's biodegradable. It has none of the negative aspects of a plastic cork. Yeah. Um, and so it, you can it can live in a bottle for decades. It behaves just like a nice. cork, but it's a reuse of a, a biologic product. Uh, so it's a totally green sort of That's compost. Fun. And it is easier to get out of the bottle. And it works yeah, I, I just, yeah, Some of you really may great. have remembered we had getting many challenges. challenges. I, so we had quite I a few challenges. I stabbed myself with the corkscrew last week, wow. opening a bottle of, I think it was the sizer, that wow. it just it popped out in an unexpected way. sudden way and right into my finger. Yeah. So kinda, Sorry about that. Okay. It's not your fault. Um, Christy <laughs> asked, what's the blend of this mead with the rose hips? So it's... Is it just rose hips and the honey? So Did this you, is just rose hip and honey. Just rose hip and honey. Rose hips, honey, and, and water that are fermented together. And yeah, Matt loves the sound of a cork popping. It's true. It's of course. It's, of there's course. something very satisfying about either yep. popping a, a cork or the crack of a can. Yep. And the screw just doesn't the quite click, click, click doesn't quite do it. But I, I'm I, I love that. the ease of I like a little. Yeah. The we ease. Just have to get used I, to it. I love it from. Um, I don't know, an efficiency standpoint, it is very satisfying how easy it is. Yeah, it's great. Uh, yeah, but there's just something now I'm, I'm out of enjoying. The it's going to be satisfying I go to have a wine. Because right? you're about to have like, wine, right? Oh, but done. I don't have to go yeah. look for the tools. No. <laughs> very convenient. So, very convenient. what else very do we convenient. have? Wait, before there, we go Ken. to the next one, I just want to say, I just noticed that we, I saw looking over on the computer that I was getting a phone call, which might be why. Oh. Oh, and I'm not going to share, but I just got a phone call. I've been tr I've been teasing out this uh, very well known comedian, and I'm crossing Ooh. my fingers that they might maybe that would be willing to maybe join us. A voice well, they, they just call, so maybe there's so, a voicemail. Uh, so I'm hoping that maybe there's a relationship here that we get this Excellent. this person to uh, come join us at Home at Woods. He's a very wow. well known comedian. Wow! Yeah, Fun. pretty exciting. Great. So anyway, just a little excellent little tease. Little tease. Excellent. That's true. This is. I don't know. Maybe this is a, a little, much, um, me, that's sorry. unfortunate. It's always these uh, a tease. You know, it's like yeah. The, this next, is a much right. harder broadcast than last week because last week we had you know the concrete. This is what, what happened. These happened. are the numbers. Whereas this one, it's you know this is what we're hoping for. This is what we might have plans. Right. What could be happening. This is what we're hoping for. This is not hard. 
Oh, it's never hard. <laughs> <laughs> what do we got next? Next one. All right. It's a beautiful color to start off. This should this is get a little tiny. A little rinse. Rinse. Just swirl around. So if you don't, if you're not familiar, um, we, we want to, before we go and really evaluate the new wine, we want to swirl it around with a little, little bit of the wine and, uh, and get the last wine out of the glass. And then we go to the next one. Uh, first weekend of February. Anything going on that weekend? I think. Yes, that's pond hockey. Pond hockey. All right. Pond hockey weekend. So we'll have uh, maybe some brewers here. When's the fishing derby? Next weekend, the following. So it's okay, the first, so first weekend, weekend is, is, is pond, pond hockey. hockey, and the second uh, week of February is fishing derby. Okay. Both events are right. great events. They're a lot of fun. Yeah, they're yeah, a lot of fun. He's busy pond here. hockey, you can get out on the ice. It's a big party out there at night. During the day, it's a big party watching the hockey games, and yeah. uh, and we'll have our bratwurst on the deck, and we'll have hopefully we'll do it on both 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 uh, events. Bratwurst for uh, for the fishing derby as well. And if you haven't walked around on the ice during a good fishing yeah, I've never derby year, been there for it. Oh, it's yeah. so much fun. Yeah, you get to meet some real characters. Oh, and sure. It's a party out there. And uh, <laughs> yeah. if the weather's nice, it's it's really worth yeah. coming in. Joanne is bringing some company up that weekend. So I was looking Have you ever heard of the show, The Crump Grumpy Old Men? The movie, Grumpy Old Men? It sounds familiar. It's about a fishing derby in Minnesota. It's a big fishing derby in Minnesota. Okay. Yeah. And it really tells the story well, of Don't one. they do. Actors. Yeah. This one? No, it's other places. One of our great staff members, Kathy, um, she, she says it interesting person she, she's a pond hockey player she plays she plays seriously. ice hockey seriously she also does curling as well but um, she'll probably be out there this year she'll probably yeah. be out there yeah she has a team and she travels a bit she, i know they always go um out to wisconsin they, she's been up to the you know upper peninsula in minnesota or michigan, michigan. um and so i i bet she'll be playing yeah here this yeah. year um yeah so i keep wanting to look at that camera no, we're going to look at this one look now. Look I, that one. All right. I think that the phone James knows Grumpy Old Men. Uh, we'll change it. Right. Okay, right. so now we have this beautiful. This is really yeah. This thing can hold up to the camera. Look at that color. Beautifully already. This was made just a couple months oh, ago. Ken, instead of it, the, the, the rose hip was made a long time ago. Dad, just the aroma alone. This was kind of fun. This was kind of fun. Oh, so this was. Oh, so just, I could just sit here and smell. Can you make like a little? Can we turn this into a candle or something so I can just have the it smell is, waving through very, my like, house all the time? That, that it's almost a little candle. floral. Even though floral, I know yeah. it's not. A, it's a fruit. It's black. Black. What would be that? Maybe that's what you told me. Yeah. I guess. It's it's a, is it a blackberry? It's a blackberry. Mm. But it is, yeah, it's, it's floral in its aromas. It's almost 16% too. Oh, it's oh, so it's, nice. It's, well, that's intriguing. Oh, oh. So, when did this come together? When did you... So what, here's the situation. I want to try this with goat cheese. So I was making Red Scare this year. Mm -hmm. Which has blackberry in it. Right? So the scale that we work at now and the timing to get the four different components for Red Scare simultaneously mm -hmm. is next to impossible. I got to get black raspberries. I got to get a whole bunch of blueberries, a whole bunch of blackberries, and a bunch of honey. I got to get them all at the same time and have a fermenter with enough space to ferment all that together. Is that the time of year when I see you running down with your hair? <laughs> that's me. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that's me. So what I've been doing over the past couple of years is having some fun with this challenge. Instead of... <laughs> tearing my hair out and worrying about it, I go, well, let's make an opportunity out of this. So this year in 2021, what I did is I made a black raspberry blueberry wine. Oh, I them love into black barrels and did all that stuff. It was really cool. It tasted great. It's awesome. Where's that one? That's gone, actually. It's oh. gone? It's gone. Oh. It went, all went into Red Scare. It went into Red Scare. And then I made a blackberry honey wine. And... I didn't get rid of all that because I really liked what the blackberry honey wine was on its own. But because I, I use a little bit of sugar in Red Scare and a lot of honey, when I did the blueberry black raspberry, I used just a little bit of sugar. So the alcohol level is only about 10 and a half percent. 
I want red scare to be at 13%. Mm. So when I make the blackberry mead, I made it at 16%. <laughs> the blend is at 13. <laughs> so I had to rally and, and concoct all this stuff and make it all work. So And so I made it all work in the different pieces, and then I take the right amount, and then I do bench trials and make sure the blend is going to be right. And then I take that blueberry, black raspberry stuff, and I take this blackberry mead, and I push it all together into a tank, blend it all, and then pump that back down into barrels. So just as a clarification for anybody out there who's, who's new to us, as you're watching, um, when, when Ken's referring to sugar and honey, he's referring to it as a fermentable. Yes. So this isn't sweet. We're converting those sugars and honeys to alcohol. So this is a dry wine. Yeah, it's just, it's just, food. It's it's just food for the yeast. Yeah, it's, it, it has a fairly high final gravity. The, the yeast, there was not enough, uh, there were, there are unfermentable residual sugars so maybe in here. So it, it is technically dry, yep. but it has a perceived sweetness to it because high gravity meads have, can have a lot of unfermentable sugars that are left in them, which is nice. Mm. I really like that. Yeah, it's yeah. a nice natural mm -hmm. balance. And I feel like that's what it, it is a lot of the time with our meads in general is that even though they are dry, your brain is so used to that flavor of honey uh -huh. as being a sweet flavor. Right. So they kind of perceive as sweet a little bit. And right. I do get that a little bit. You kind yeah. of get that, that yeah. honeyness. Um, yeah, Lynn asks if it, if it feels as rich as it looks. It's both the really high alcohol it, it is and, rich. It's big. And, and it's big. This is, this big is a lot of flavor going on. Yeah. yeah. It's not nearly as, that was much, the first one was much lighter, more crisper, thinner, yeah. delicate. Yeah. Right. Yeah. This is a big This wine. is a powerhouse. So, do you intend to bottle this and I will be sell this? this? Great. Yeah. So, that's what Christine is looking for. Yeah. Is this another, you know, sometime maybe summer, early fall, depending on this when? This one um, is really coming along nicely. So, I'm hoping to have it out by late spring. It's really yes, coming late spring? all together nicely. Yeah, Jan, I was thinking this too, Janice, that she wishes there was a scratch and sniff app. This is this is where technology will, you just know, technology will get here at some point that we will be able to create a right. sniff and right. send it through It'll the cloud the, uh, to everybody joining us. And it will come out of the keyboard and you yep. will be able to. They, they actually have that technology. No, I've, they do I've, have it. No. Yeah. They absolutely do. Yeah, it was an electronic. I read about this a few years ago. Really? And they have the, a wide range of specific key components, and then those are electronically activated. So when there's a certain smell, chocolate is mm -hmm. coming through. They yep. do 10% of this, 50% of that, 42% of that electronically, and it creates a chocolate-like aroma. Wild! It's absolutely coming. <laughs> when they build it, it into be your happening. MacBook or your your laptop, you'll <laughs> you'll see everybody with their eye watches. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you won't wear perfume anymore. You'll just dial it in. I'd like to have uh, this perfume today, and I'd like to have it express itself at 10%. <laughs> That's something. Somebody, I bet you somebody's doing that. That's wild. Yeah. <laughs> Build that right into your and watch. Yeah, the, right. the color. I was showing off the color to the camera very well, and the color is just beautiful. So that is a nice finish. We we uh, we we're we're at the end of the hour. Yeah. Wow. And we really? concluded with two two very nice new wines that are coming um, out hopefully um, in. I know. So well, I'm <coughs> hoping. Um, Twenty two. So we mentioned this last week. There were a lot of new wines in 2021, and some are still there, and some have already run out. Uh, Please tell me you're making the crab apple cider again. The crab apple. The crab cider? apple cider. That did not happen this fall. We did not have enough crab apples. Yeah, it was not a good year. year for crab apples. True. So it goes every other year. Every other, every year. other year. Okay, so next year. So this fall, so I'll be I making. I know. I had a bottle of crab apple cider last night. That stuff is. I still had one, and and shared it with Carl. Yeah, I know. I, I've got two. I've got two at home, and I'm. Yeah. I'm really excited. That it's and it's just a wonderful cider. I like it a lot. So we will be making that again. Hopefully this Probably. fall, should be a bumper crop. I also want to make more crab apple cider. Yes. The Dolgo size. Yeah, that's a really Yeah, good. that one is really it's good. Really it's very, good. it's a very popular one. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. so cool. great. Both of those didn't happen. This has been a lot of fun. Great ideas, everybody. Yeah. I'm yeah, really excited to see some of those over ideas. <laughs> no, isn't it? With the camera right there, you make an eye. I should look over there. 
Uh, yeah, I'm really excited yeah, to see some there. of those ideas uh, come come to fruition this year. Uh, I'm sure many of them will. We will be having a cask or a barrel program for Matt for sure. <laughs> we're we're going to work on that, and uh, we got we got lots of fun ideas. So thank you. We'll we'll put those on the we'll, after the show. Oh we'll yeah, we'll be we'll be running them all down. Yeah, we've got. Yeah. And you can always yeah if you want to if you come up with ideas outside of here you know send us a message you can yeah. email any of us or. Yeah. Matt certainly does. Matt, some actually, some of our shows have been directly in response to Matt's great ideas. Yep. We just had to put them put them into use. But so looking right. forward to his uh, to Matt co-hosting one time in the in yep. the future. We'll we'll get a date. Nancy's still waiting on Boathouse Blue to come back. Which I guess Me I too, mean that actually. sort of has evolved into Petite Blue Reserve, isn't isn't that kind of what you know, Boathouse Blue we kind just of became? Did. Didn't we do Boathouse Blue in the We did. So um, just club. for you, Nancy, just, just a little tease, um, just a so tease you know. for you, Nancy. Um, our two bottle a month club members are receiving uh, a, a library bottle of Boathouse Blue this year or this January is this in week, the works. Right? Should be <laughs> should be like out that. this week, yes. <laughs> so a uh, little tease tip for you that you might get access to certain things like that. But I think, yeah, isn't the Boathouse Blue kind of evolved into Petite Blue Reserve? That's Correct. What I That's what I was yeah. just to say to Nancy, that the things that we learned and enjoyed in Boathouse Blue got rolled into Petite Blue Reserve. Hmm. So that is, yeah, it's what it's become. Going back to the notes when I was writing up the notes for that. I love really, that name, though, Boathouse Blue. It like is, Boathouse it's Blue really too. nice, yeah. I know. Yeah. Uh, Chelsea, we'd like to remind you, Bob, to, to stop in on your way home. Oh, yes. Good. Thank you, Chelsea. I will do that. <laughs> <laughs> great. So thank you, folks. Another great, great Monday night. Really appreciate you all joining us tonight. And we look forward to seeing you next Monday for... We'll have to figure out what we're going to talk about next Monday. We'll figure it out. Okay. Yeah. We'll get, we'll it, we'll it, out. get it going. Maybe we'll make muscles. Maybe. Oh, next know. Monday. We're okay else? with that, yeah. So Maybe. tune in next Monday, 5.30, live at Hermit Woods, and, uh, <laughs> and we will uh, we'll look forward to seeing you and, and look forward to a great 2022 with you. So thank you all okay. again. We'll see you soon. Good night, everybody. Cheers. Cheers. Sound.